Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and now we will discuss continuous compounded interest. How long will it take to double your principal at an annual interest rate of 8% compounded continuously? So when we are talking about compounded continuously, then the formula for finding the amount is A equals to principal amount times e to the power of r t where r is the rate of interest so it is given to us as 8 percent so 8 percent means 8 over 100 which could be written as 0 0.08 we need to find the time when the principal amount doubles that means the amount a becomes two times the principal amount so that is the question and we need to find t perfect so that is how you should understand the question. Now, applying the formula and substituting A as 2P, what do we get? So we get 2 times P equals to P times E to the power of R is 0 0.08. So 0 0.08 T. Now, P and P will cancel, right? So we can write here 2P divided by P, which is E to the power of 0 0.08 so we get 2 equals to e to the power of 0 0.08 t. Now we need to find t, the time, the doubling time for the given situation, right? Now whenever e is involved, we should use ln, since ln of e is 1, correct? So if I take ln log to the base e, right, both sides, then what do I get? I get ln e to the power of 0 0.08 t. Now, let me use the right side of the page here to solve rest of the question. Okay, so it really means ln of 2 equals to ln e to the power of 0 0.08 t. So ln of e to the power of 0 0.08 t is only 0 0.08 t. So it could be written as ln2 equals to 0 0.08 t, right? Since the base is e, right? Now from here we can find t as equals to ln2 divided by 0 0.08. So that is how easy it is. So for whatever given rate of interest in general, doubling time can be written as ln2 divided by the rate of interest itself. So let's calculate this also. So we have ln2, ln2 equals to divided by 0 0.08 equals to 8.664. So that is the time which will be taken to double the amount. That means 8 years. 8.666 years. Now 0.66 is how many months? 0.664 times 12 will give us months, right? So which is approximately 8 months, right? So we can write our answer as 8 years and 8 months. So that is how you can solve this particular question or any question likewise. So in general, if we are talking about the doubling time, then the t is equals to ln2 over the rate of interest. Let me write r here in percent. So that becomes the formula to find the doubling time when compounded continuously. Okay, I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.